Hi, have you ever heard about toxic food? Have you ever heard about somebody being poisoned because of the food they eat? It happens everywhere. Today when you go to hospital, you'll find a lot of people queuing and you know, going for tests and their test results do show that they were poisoned by the food they eat. Sometimes it's not um, like it was a real poison that was put in food. It's just like they ate the food that is not right for their stomach, so they got what we call food poisoning. So you don't have to eat poison to be poisoned. Sometimes you can eat food that somebody else ate and was just fine, but then when you eat the same food, you get poisoned, all right? So if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, my name is John Gora, I'm a life coach, and it is that moment that I would request you to subscribe to this channel, and also, if you love what you will hear here, don't forget to like, and also leave a comment, tell me, give me your opinion, let me know what you think about this video. So let's get to today's topic. Today we're going to learn about toxic people. In the beginning of this video, I talked about toxic food. And I said that food can poison you even without putting poison in that food. So how do you identify food that will poison you? Some of the people are allergic to some kind of foods. Some of the people maybe are not used to certain foods. So this is some of the ways that you can use to identify that this food might be poisonous, it might be toxic to my health, so I avoid eating it. But what about human being? Yes, human being can be toxic, and it is so difficult to know whether a man or a woman has become toxic in your life. But again, it is so easy if you are keen, just like the person who identifies the food, the kinds of food that are allergic to his health or that he's not used to eating and then they try to avoid those foods so that they don't get poisoned. The same way, there are some traits in human being that if you identify, you might avoid being poisoned by your fellow human being. For example, if you're in a relationship, you can avoid a man poisoning you, becoming toxic in your life, you know? Um, even in family setup, a group of family, your family members, some of them might be toxic in your life. What about colleagues at work? They can be toxic, but the biggest threat is how do you identify these toxic people? That's what we want to talk about today. So number one, there are these people who will always try to ignore your needs. They know what you need. They understand you so well. And they know without this, you might not function well. For example, if these resources are not given to you, your work will delay. You will not give the deliverables in time. But somebody just try to frustrate you by not giving you what you need to accomplish your work. This is a toxic person. The same way you are in a relationship and somebody under understands the things that you need to make you move, right? For example, you need some free space, you need some peace to do your work or maybe to do something at, in the house. You, maybe you need some rest and they know that you need it, but they just frustrate you not to get that rest. This is being toxic. Number two, we have some people who will never ever apologize. They will be wrong and they will know that they are wrong, but they will never apologize. You see, in life, being apologetic to people is the most important and powerful aspect of bringing people together, you and the people who are around you. The moment you realize your mistakes and you know what you did was not right, the best thing that you can always do is to apologize. But we have these people who will never own up to apologize. They are toxic. Number three, there are people who will never be wrong. You know, the first person I've talked about, just talked about, is a person who will never apologize. Yes, they are wrong, they know. And they accept they are wrong, but they will never apologize. But there is this guy who will never accept they are wrong. Even when they step on your feet, they will blame you for having placed your feet on their way. You know, this is a toxic person. And you have to be very careful about them. Number four, we have these people who are always jealous about your achievements. You know, you can never do something and get appreciated. Sometimes you're dating them, 
Sometimes they are your family members. Sometimes they are your colleagues at work. Or maybe they are people who are just living around you. And because you are doing some great things and people are appreciating you and maybe you are getting a lot of people, a lot of attention, and maybe you are getting a lot of prizes and, you know, and, and, and praises as well, they start to have a kind of cold arms towards you. Before you used to hug, you used to have some good times together, talk stories, you know, share things. But the moment you start to achieve your goals, they start to give you cold shoulders. These are toxic people. You need to avoid them like plague, okay? Then we have number five. These people who will always play the victim. You see, in life it is very difficult to identify such kind of people, but we have them. People who will do some mistakes and it's not that they are not accepting the mistakes, it's not that they are not apologizing, but they play victim. You see, a mistake has happened and they, have, they are the people who have caused the mistake, but they rush to claim and blame other people or maybe blame you because of whatever has happened. In fact, they take, they own the problem, but they put it on you. Like because, you know, of this, this is why I did this. You see, I've never done this before. In my life, I've been working here for 20 years, but this has never happened. So it just happened because, all right? These are people who play victim. You know, they want you to feel bad because they did a mistake. I don't know if you're getting my point. They want you to feel bad, even though they are the ones who did the mistake, but you are going to get yourself even taking the responsibility of their mistakes because they play victim. They say, maybe I'm still not trained, I'm new here, you know, I've never done this before, you know, in previous place where I was or in my previous relationship, it used to be this, you know, that. These are people who play victim. They try not to talk about the problem, but they talk about the ways of escape, how they can escape from the same problem that they did. Then lastly, we have manipulators. We have those people who will use manipulative ways to get what they want. Some of them will use sex to get what they want from you. Some of them will use money to get what they want from you. Some of them will use sweet stories to seduce you, to persuade you, to offer them what, they, what you want. You have to be very careful with people who are around you. Manipulative people are so many around today. In today's world, people are so much into things that glitter, that always turns out not to be gold. So there are these people who already understand that we love things that glitter. So they come with some manipulative ways to seduce you, to persuade you, to offer them what they want. And the moment you offer what they want, they disappear. You will never see them again. So you have to be very careful about toxic people. Toxic people are everywhere. You only need to identify them. And the only way you can do that is by first of all understanding yourself. Understand yourself and as I said, the most important and powerful aspect of understanding yourself is to love yourself. Find self-love. Train yourself to love yourself, to know what is right and what is wrong in your life. Understand what are your boundaries so that somebody does not pass those boundaries. They don't go overboard above your boundaries. They respect them and they give you what you deserve. You're a beautiful soul and we need to appreciate you. Thanks for watching my videos. My name is John Gora, I'm a life coach. And as I said, if this is your first time you're watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And also there's a notification bell there, knock it and put all notifications so that when I post videos here, you can always receive a notification from YouTube to come and watch my videos. And don't forget to keep smiling.